Well, good day, everyone, and may the peace of Christ be with all of you today and this entire week. This gospel today is from Luke, and it's one that's very familiar to us. It's the story of the angel's appearance to Mary and the revelation to her that she would conceive and bear a son. Now, every time I hear or read this gospel, I wonder how I would respond to an angel who suddenly appeared in front of me and began telling me anything about the future of my life. Luke says that Mary was extremely troubled at the angel's news. What did all this mean? How was it to come about? What would she tell Joseph? This was too fantastic for him to believe. Would he believe her or reject her? Now, if we truly put ourselves in Mary's place, how would you react or how would you respond? Now, somehow Mary was able to trust God and she consented. And I believe that it was Mary's personal relationship with God that enabled her to have that level of trust and to say yes to what, was, to what God was calling her to. Mary trusted God in all things, even the surreal and frightening situation she was in. How was she to explain her situation to Joseph? Surely he would be angry and humiliated. Would he spurn her? She had to tell him. Otherwise, he would draw his own conclusions. And then naturally, I believe that she had been with another man. And imagine the storm of emotions that this young Mary must have experienced. At times, Jesus presents us with a difficult, a painful situation that stirs up a storm of emotions in us. How do we respond? Do we get angry? Do we get fearful or anxious? Or do we simply distance ourselves from God? The way you can fully trust in God is to practice to move through our fear and anger in prayer, trusting that the outcome will be the right outcome for us. We have to work and pray to trust God. And eventually, with all our hearts and all our minds, come to believe and trust that God is with us and that God will guide and grace us. We need to keep ourselves grounded in the God that we know and that we trust. And if we do this, then we truly may be able to believe that we have the grace, the strength, and the trust that we need. This is where we find peace, that peace of God that can bring us through all things. Today is the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed, Mary, Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary, may we ask Mary to pray for us. She has walked in these shoes and she'll walk with us. Mary, please pray for us. And may Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.